Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. The next storm in the series is set to hit California this afternoon into tonight. So one more storm system. And there's one more actually behind this, but it's going to, uh, it may wash out with the pattern shift I'll explain coming up. And that shift happens after 12-8. Uh, and that's going to favor the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff, Northern Tier States because the whole jet is going to shift to the north. And I'll show you that coming up. I wrote all about it uh, this morning on my blog. First of all, let me just show you what the setup is on infrared satellite. Um, there are two storms, but... It's this next one, again, that's going to ride the jet into California. It, it'll have some moisture and, and decent aura graphics, but it's a little more ragged, a little warmer than the last storm that we dealt with. Um, still expecting some good snow in California. Then that storm will slowly move into the interior Rockies. Now the low behind it will move in, but it's going to go further north, Pacific Northwest, likely will feel the impact of that storm system bc but as it moves in the patterns can be shifting at the same same time so there's going to be some some degradation of the storm with that and i wrote about it pattern uh, through 12 12 so this runs us all the way out to 12 12 some of my bullet points right there talking about a little bit about the pattern shift so this is the current pattern right now let me show you what this looks like in high res now, tomorrow, that low will still be just offshore with all of that wind pumping that moisture and the ore graphics up against the Sierra. And then that moisture will then overrun um, the interior, Utah and Idaho and Wyoming, Colorado, northern New Mexico, eventually down the road. So that's 12.4. This is 12.7. At this point, the low is moving through Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Wyoming. Um, it's not as cold as the previous, as its predecessor. Uh, the aura graphics are, they're pretty good. Um, it's just not quite as cold as the previous storm. And you'll notice the dip in the, uh, in the Pacific Northwest. That's the other storm behind it moving into the Pacific Northwest. And the pattern's already shifting at that point. All right, so here is 12.12. Look at that shift. I mean, it's, it's pretty significant. High pressure really uh, rebuilding big time across California. Um, with this type of setup, the flow would definitely favor the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff, Northern Tier States. Now, there's a possibility between in that transition period, 12-8 to 12-12, that there's somewhat of a northwest, west-northwest orientation as the pattern's shifting, and that could bring snow down on a sort of northwest flow type pattern. Um, in the interim as the pattern shifting so that might be that might be something positive down the road with this but that would really just favor the northern tier of the Rockies all right so let's go back to um, the blog um, so I talked all about that uh, the forecast timing here's the future radar and satellite um, I'll run this out so there look at the storm coming in Sunday morning Tahoe continues and then all that snow begins to be to be blown into the interior in pieces it looks ragged to me. It's not a. It's not just one solid storm system, um, but it comes. It just throws waves of snow into the uh, into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, northern New Mexico. And by the time we get to the eighth, there's that other storm system moving in. But it's it's much further north, Pacific Northwest, BC. But it does have a lot of snow, a lot of precip for the Pacific Northwest. But it's it's part of the pattern change. Let me just run this out one more time. So there's your snow Sunday morning. There is Monday morning, snow moving through the interior. There's Tuesday morning continuing on that type of pattern. Um, Wednesday at 6, same thing. It's, it's, it's just preset being blown in by the jet. And then there is Thursday at 11 p.m. All right, so back to the blog here. Let's go into, um, let's go into totals here. Let me just show you what I'm thinking. Um, so here is all of today through the 7th. So California, 1 to 2 feet with this so not it's it's not quite as big as its predecessor but still one to two feet there might be a there might be a, a little over uh, it might be 27 to 30 or more down through mammoth um, in the interior i like 14 ish for alta snowbird a little bit less than big cottonwood um, i like 14 to 15 for the tetons um, so again not quite as big in the tetons as the previous storm but still some decent amounts there. In Colorado, this is really fascinating. 
with the jet flow the way that it is and the precip coming in in waves rather than in one solid storm, there was there will be some outliers. And it really and this will and these numbers like in Crested Butte, Vale, and Wolf Creek largely depended upon the precise wind direction and these these snow waves coming in at the proper trajectory. So um, if they're off by a little, the amounts will be off. But you can see the potentials there for some pretty good snow through the 7th in parts of Colorado. Northern New Mexico, pretty light, a couple of inches. Um, and then the numbers for the Pacific Northwest, um, Idaho, Montana, are all pretty light, 2 to 6 inches will probably do it until the pattern starts to change, and it will. So here is... This is the 8th through the 10th, and you can see it's very obvious the pattern shifts back to the north. The big totals are in Oregon, Washington, B.C., uh, Banff, in Idaho. Um, all those areas start to see the benef are the beneficiaries of that pattern shift. And again, you can almost see a little bit of that west-northwest flow through parts of the Tetons, the, the Wasatch, and in the central and northern mountains of Colorado in the interim as the pattern's changing. We might be able to see just a little bit of that uh, northwest flow type pattern. But that's the way it looks to me through the 10th. Let me just show you the northeast while we're here. There really isn't much through the 10th, uh, one or two inches. Again, the pattern's just not favorable in the Northeast. It hasn't been for a little while, and that's all I see as far as the Northeast goes. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.